This is probably the worst lighting I've ever had. Mm-hmm. Hello! Hello YouTube, it's Ray, and today I finally get to do a video that I've always wanted to do since I was a young kid. But back then I didn't have a camera, I didn't have lighting, I didn't have a computer, I didn't have a YouTube channel, so it's kind of like, what am I doing? But today I finally get to do the video I want to do, and it is Pokemon related. I'm going to start doing the series of Pokemon videos, which aren't really gameplay per se, but they are basically just Pokemon talk. It just seems like a good idea because my cousin and I, we always talk about Pokemon, and this just all seems to fit properly. So for this video, and also this whole series, I've been really inspired by this YouTube channel called Acnologia, and I'll put his link down in the down bar below so you guys can check him out. He's a pretty cool guy, and he does a lot of these videos as well, so I just thought, why don't I take a spin on it myself? So for today's video, oh, this is really harsh. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my top 10 most favorite beautiful Pokemon that are not legendaries. Now before I start, I just want to say that the Pokemon that I choose on my list aren't like correct or wrong. They're just my opinions and if you guys disagree, it's totally fine. Just leave in the comment box below a list of your top 10 favorite most beautiful Pokemon that you think um, deserve to be on a top 10 list and we could, you know, talk things out and just, you know, discuss on the side. That's that'll be fine. So without further ado, let's begin. I'm very excited to share with you guys my top 10 favorite beautiful Pokemon. Let's begin! <laughs> Starting off with number 10, I have Delphox, which is the fire and psychic type and also the final evolution of Fennekin. Delphox is such a beautiful Pokemon. Not only is it a fire type, and it's also a psychic type, which is very rare. I think the last time this ever happened was with Victini. It also has a mysterious, beautiful fur coat. And in this fur coat, it hides this mysterious, magic, fire-breathing wand, which is super kick-ass. It also resembles a very elegant enchantress, or like a sorceress, or like a sorcerer. Like, very magical. Beautiful. I think the fire symbol on its thigh area, um, pants area, or fur area, whatever you want to call it, down there. I really think that the fire symbol is a nice touch to the overall design. Just one criticism of the whole design is that the fur coming out of its ear is kind of, uh, feels really painful. It also kind of ruins the silhouette for me. I don't know about you guys, but I just think that it's a little bit too much. Like, you could do away without having those fur in your ear. Number nine, I have Superior, and ugh, this is such a hard name to pronounce. Superior. Superior. It's the regal Pokemon, so from the get go, you know it's royal, you know it's majestic, you know it's beautiful. I really like the simple pattern on its body, it's just a nice touch, and it reminds me of nature. Number eight, I have Chinchino. Chinchino, Chinchino. Chinchino is my number eight choice. I think Chinchino has a very simple and chic design. It also has a muted tone for a very beautiful Pokemon. It's like a whitish gray, so I just think that's so beautiful and just so sleek and, and ugh, it's just gorgeous. One critique though I have is that it's got this weird hairline. It kind of looks awkward. Number seven, I have Aurorus. It's the only fossil Pokemon that doesn't look stiff. You know what I mean? Like Kabuto, Kabutops, Omanyte, Amastar. Aerodactyl, they all look really stiff because they're all rock types and you kind of know that they're rock types from the get-go because they look so stiff. Aurorus is just very free-spirited and just majestic and... <sighs> mm -hmm. It's got beautiful geometric patterns and also a very ethereal veil on its back. I just think that's just so beautiful that way. One critique though is that its tail is kind of awkward. It's got this weird curl at the end. Like, if you look at Meganium, it's got a really nice basic, simple, decent tail, and Aurora just has this weird thing going up there, and I'm just like, wow. Number six, I have Lapras. Lapras has a beautiful mix of gray and blue, which are my two favorite colors. It's got great proportion of soft and hard body tissues, which are its body, being it's a very soft skin, but it has a really hard shell, and you know, it's just got a bit and pieces of uh, the goods going on up there. Lapras is like, the ambassador of the HM Surf. Like if you think about it, riding on a Lapras is just like the best way to travel around the world. Number five, I got a Florges. I don't know if it's Florges or if it's Florges, but um, 
I just go with Florges because it's gorgeous. Oh yeah, I went there. One word, guys, for Florges. Hair. Girl's hair game is on fleek. It has an hourglass figure. My favorite part of Florigis is actually the leg area, which are the leaves. I just think that it's a really nice touch um, to the whole poofy hair situation going on up there. Overall, it makes an outstanding silhouette for Florigis. Number four, Rapidash. For all of you girls and boys out there who still believe unicorns are real, well, let me tell you something. They are real in Pokemon World. Just imagine riding a Rapidash to your friend's party. All your friends are gonna be so jealous and they'd be like, Damn, he's got a Rapidash and I only got a Maserati. He wins in life. Number three, I got Female Meowstic. Got a very simple and chic design and it's not over designed. It's just a simple white dress with a blue scarf. Got a very clean presentation in terms of how it looks. It's also very super strong in terms of special attack. I don't really have any criticism for Meowstic, it's just overall a very elegant design. Number two, Gardevoir. Gardevoir has a great shade of green, it's not like an over empowering type of green, it's not like a very pastel green where you're just like, oh, I don't even notice it. Gardevoir is pretty flowy and lightweight, it looks like it's just gonna drift off to the sunset slowly and just bye Gardevoir. Gardevoir is very graceful, almost like a fairy tale princess. And um, to top it off, Gardevoir's hairstyle kind of reminds me of Taylor Swift's current hairstyle. Both so beautiful. Number one, I have, you guys probably guessed it already, a lot of you guys would probably agree that it's Ninetales. It's the definition of handsome and beautiful. Ninetale only has one color for a fur. It's got great proportional design. It's got a very poofy tail, but a very slim body. And it's got a pretty cool hairstyle, I might say. It's also very mysterious and very cunning because it can understand human speech. So it knows what you're thinking about and what you're talking about. Ninetales is just this, beautiful. Alright, so that is it to my top 10 most favorite beautiful Pokemon, not including legendaries. Hope you guys enjoyed it, hope you guys like it, um, and actually wish that you guys disagreed with me so I could see what your list would be like. If you are a Pokemon freak like me, leave it in the comment box below what your list would look like. Also, I can't wait to do more of the series um, because it's just so relaxing and just so, you know, just me talking about stuff I like, you know? If you guys like, please subscribe. Buttons down below, I think. Um, I don't really know where it is anymore. They keep changing it around, so. These are my other social media stuff here. If you guys want to check it out, please do, because uh, I am always on it. Although my phone is dead right now, or my phone doesn't work right now, so I won't be able to do anything with my social media stuff. And I'm just itching to go on Instagram. Okay, my camera is about to die, and I gotta go. So thanks for watching this video. I love you guys. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.